I'm going to show you today the basics of how to wire up a small strip of flex watt. Now this is a three inch piece of flex watt, but flex watt comes in several different sizes. There's this three inch, there's four inch, there is this 11 inch wide strip, there's even up to 17 inch wide strips based on whatever application you're looking for. This can be used to warm an incubator. I have actually used this to hatch quail eggs. It can be used for a brooder. It's often used for reptiles, for warming spots or for actually incubating the eggs themselves. So I'm going to show you the basics of how to first put the wire, wire clips onto it, then how to attach an extension cord to it, as well as the, the uh, plastic insulators. Then in part two of this video, I'm going to show you how to put in a very basic electrical dimmer, which is used to control the power, make sure it doesn't get too hot or too cold, and then how to use basic uh, foil tape to mount FlexWatt to whatever surface you're interested in mounting it to. So let's get started. First, take your electrical metal connector like this. Now you can install it like this or this, doesn't really matter, as long as it goes over the, the bus bar that is on either side. Now there's a bus bar that runs down this strip and this strip. In the wider material, it runs down those wide sides, those are the bus bars. They carry the electrical current to the rest of the heat tape. Then you'll take some kind of a crimping tool. I like vice grips like this. Some people use an actual vice. Others will use pliers. You can actually buy a tool online that can be used to crimp them down. Uh, whatever works as long as those teeth that are in that uh, this electrical piece go through the plastic and make contact with the metal piece, the metal strip that runs through here. So just like that, that is now connected. I have my extension cord. This is a basic six foot long extension cord uh, where the end has been snipped off. I've exposed the wires by stripping them and you take your exposed wire, just one of them, into each side. Plug it in like so with your crimping tool. Make sure it's good and snug in there. Give it a little tug, make sure it's not going to come out. And then you're ready <coughs> to put on your plastic insulators. Very important to insulate this. This is 120 or 110 volts that will be going through this. You don't want to get zapped by it. So put one side down like that, your other side on like that. With your hand just pop it into place like that and it's now that one side is insulated and good to go. Repeat that with the other side, same fashion, and with that you're ready to plug it in and test it. But one thing, this other end, however long your heat tape is, it can be up to about 24 feet, I think is what the manufacturer recommends you don't exceed. The other end, those two little ends right there are exposed wires. Don't want those to remain exposed. Take a little electrical tape. doesn't matter what color. I like red because it's nice and easy to see, and I, it's obvious that it's, it's uh, insulated and covered. Put it over both sides. Take a second piece on the other side, like this. Make sure those are covered. If any of this black strip is right next to the edge and exposed, uh, you'll want to cover that entire exposed surface. Now, you could plug this in once this other side is connected, obviously, and begin heating. This 3-inch tape will produce about 10 watts of power per foot. The 11-inch wide strips will each foot will produce about 20 watts of power or it will generate that much heat and again on, on the the wider stuff you'll connect it the electrical connectors here and here just like you did on this and make sure you insulate up at the top here and here and that is part one in part two i will show you the the dimmer and the mounting 